Hi Pacers fans and welcome into the Extra Pass presented by GEICO. I'm Pat Boylan. The month of January concluded with the exciting return of Victor Oladipo back to the hardwood for the Pacers. It was a month though that Indiana spent most of it away from home. Nine of their 14 games were away from Bankers Life Fieldhouse, yet the Pacers capped off yet another winning month. Let's start off this show by going behind the scenes and taking a look at the return of the Pacers star Victor Oladipo. It's been 370 days, 82 regular season games since last year's season ending injury. It was a moment that Victor Oladipo, the staff, his teammates, Pacers fans have been waiting over a month for as Indiana transitions into phase two of their season as they look to reintegrate their star. Jakar Sampson has been asked to do a lot for the Pacers this season. He started, come off the bench. He's been a role player. Jeremiah Johnson on the road trip got a chance to talk with Sampson about his different roles and how he's been integrated to Indiana. Thanks, Pat. Honored to be joined by Jakar Sampson. We are into February almost and uh, kind of looking forward to the second half, the stretch run of the season. Seems like this team has a lot of really good chemistry right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we got a whole lot of um, high character guys, you know, guys who um, you know, care about the team, about the team's success and who, who are great guys off the court, you know, so it make it easy for us to, you know, bond and, and get the job done. You never know what chemistry will be like when you sign a contract in the offseason, but has this been a perfect scenario in terms of everybody getting along and knowing their roles? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, it's an easy group of uh, guys, you know, to coach, I feel like, and to be around. Um, you know, everybody got the same goal. We want to win games. and. Uh, people sacrifice minutes, you know, um, people, are, um, teammates are always always ready to step in and uh, do their jobs, and we just got a great group. You've had some situations this season where you've started, some other times when you've come in and provided a spark, but have you been able to gauge just how much Pacers fans enjoy watching you play? I don't know if you're on social media very much, but do you can you sense you're a fan favorite? I don't really, I'm not a big social media guy, you know, I got it, but I'm never on it, so uh, not so much, I guess, but, um, you know, my job is just bringing energy to my team, and um, I know fans definitely like that, and uh, that's my job, and I love doing it. Part two of our conversation with Jeremiah Johnson and Jakar Sampson comes later in this show. Let's take a look now at the very best from the month of January, our top five plays. Samson got the start. He pounds it down. Ah. Jakar Sampson for the second time in the quarter. Oh, oh yeah. my, Sampson. <laughs> he is showing off, getting great passes. What a really good pass there. Turner to the yes. basket and pounds it down. Yeah, he caught Draymond Green on the reach, and Miles got to the rim. That's a bonus and a pick and roll. They go screen away. Oh, a little long. Who likes that shot? Brogdon gives the Pacers the lead. And he's not unafraid. He's not afraid of the moment, Chris. And as you can see, Brogdon was able to make a heck of a shot. Besides, Felicio is 6'7. Now, Little Depot has it. Hutchison. Here's a long three by. Oh, yeah! oh! Here he's back. He's back. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. We're going to see both teams do what we've seen all day long here, Quinn. A 24-second shot clock violation in honor of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty good. I mean, all of the league is he's basically done a 24-second violation. As many of you know, that was his number. But in great appreciation for Kobe Bryant and all he did for the league and, and, and everybody in the NBA. 
January 26, 2020 was a devastating day for the basketball community and the world at large after the news of Kobe Bryant's death along with his 13-year-old daughter and seven other members aboard that helicopter. Kobe Bryant and Nate McMillan knew each other well. McMillan coached him on Team USA as an assistant coach and Bryant had relationships with other Pacers as well. Here's how Indiana reacted to the news. Just sad, honestly. Um, I remember telling my mom, I'm, I'm jealous. She said, why are you jealous? Because I felt like I didn't get my special moment with Cole. You know what I mean? I had a, a relationship with him. I talked to him a few times on the phone, texted him a few times, but I never got to even meet him in person. And I never got to play against him. I never got to play with him. I never got to work out with him. And I felt like all that was in the near future. You know what I mean? Uh, so it was kind of tough for me just because, you know, I wanted that moment. A lot of people don't understand and know, but when I was in Orlando, it, was, it wasn't easy for me. Like, I heard it all from being a bust to not being good enough to getting benched to coming off the bench to, to everything. And my mentor used to just tell me about Kobe the entire time, around Proud. He used to tell me about Kobe all the time. Kobe, 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 Kobe. I used to watch Kobe videos. Sometimes if you look back at my old interviews, you'll see stuff that Kobe says, that's where I get it from. Like, even kill, not getting too high, not getting too low, that's cold. I don't fathom failure, failure isn't real, that's cold. That's where I got it from. So, um, it was tough for me, it was a tough day for me. Uh, tough day for the world in general. I, I think, I mean, you know, uh, those guys grow, uh, grew up watching Kobe. And, uh, you know, for me, I had the opportunity to uh, not only coach against him, but coach him, um, being an assistant uh, on the Olympic team and winning gold medals with him. Uh, you know, for, for, I mean, it's, I, I can only speak for me, you know, and uh, it's, it's been really a challenge uh, these last few hours uh, just thinking about anything else. Certainly challenging times for the coaches, the players, anybody that knew Kobe Bryant as the NBA loses an icon. Let's turn things back over now to Jeremiah Johnson, part two of our conversation with Jakar Sampson. One highlight of the season might have been in Chicago when I think he had three dunks in the third quarter. Chicago also home to the slam dunk contest and All-Star Weekend. I mean, have you ever been in a slam dunk competition? No, nah, actually when I was younger I was, but um, you know, my, I think my dunks has kind of played out for a slam dunk. Mine is all power, you know, throwing it down, so I don't know if I got the finesse to pull that off. Did you have any slam dunk competition you remember watching as a kid? Um, just all the, uh, just all the, um, just throwbacks, you know, I always watch NBA TV, uh, just Vince Carter, you know, all the, you know, highlight dunks like that, you know, even Zach Levine recently. But uh, Michael Jordan back in the day, like, I just love watching, you know, the dunk contest and just seeing, you know, new tricks. With your all-star break, you'll be able to kind of relax a little bit. Do you look forward to kind of catching your breath before what should be a fantastic finish of the regular season? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I always love getting away, um, go somewhere tropical, you know, <laughs> get some warm weather, you know, and, uh, and just, you know, relax and take that break mentally and physically and um, get back to work. I mentioned signing with the Pacers, but... Is this kind of what you wanted, and are you happy with the decision that you made? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, um, I couldn't ask to be in a better situation. You know, uh, everybody great here. It's definitely a, a family feel here. You know, I don't feel like work most days, you know. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, it's just, it's just fun. And I'm able to play, be at home, be close to my family, and to play at the highest level. So, Domas and Miles, maybe it was a little bit of an experiment to start the season and them playing together. And you work with them every day in practice. How have they flourished as the season's gone along? Oh, wow, they are really taking off, you know. Um, them two, you know, the way they play with each other and uh, they know where each other at, you know. They, the two big men game is elite. Um, and it's just a t it's, it's a tough to guard, too, because you got two big bodies out there, you know, defending and blocking shots. And, um, you know, I, I just continue to see them both grow, and it's, it's fun to watch. Jakar Sampson enjoying his time with the Pacers. Pacers fans are enjoying it as well. Pat, back to you. All right, thanks, Jeremiah, and a thank you to Jakar. The Pacers open up the month of February with seven of eight games at Bankers Life Fieldhouse before they hit the All-Star break. Pacers.com slash tickets is how you can be here in person. That'll wrap it up for the Extra Pass presented by Geico. I'm Pat Boylan. We'll talk to you next month.